South Sudan. An enormous potential for global contribution. I've missed home. I haven't yet been home. So you can say I'm homesick. And even that is an underestimation because how I feel cannot be put into proper perspective when I know I'm not welcomed home. I haven't yet met grandma, but I understand she stands in the middle of chaos. She is not a refugee. And it makes me wonder how come we've been on the run for so long and while we've given hopes to come back and return, how come home still shuts the door in our face? How come it's still the tears that makes this ground moist? Sometimes I hope that it just becomes a fantasy, that this is all a dream, that this is all a nightmare. Because it would make sense to run after mum and grab at the tip of her skirt. And while she tells me the tales, of what South Sudan really meant, what South Sudan was really about. I hope I can find a day when I can walk back home and realize that this here is the place that all my imperfections come to make sense. That this here is the place where we wouldn't have to point guns at each other. That this here is the place where hugs and kisses would actually be the only things that are given. They say home is where the heart is. I wonder where I left mine. I wonder if it's still there, intact. Because some days I despair. I'm a part of the world and yet I feel I'm out of place. There are too many broken hearts. There are too many lost souls. And I'm pretty sure by calculation right now we've lost too many. Make this place feel like home again. Because we want to come home. My name is Abraham Anyang Medid Nyuk and I am from South Sudan.